we're diving deeper into your cycle of the business that you go through. Okay, everyone goes through cycles, right? We talked about it earlier. Okay, the goal is to get really, really detailed in which phases we go through in our business. And there's four important things that we want to identify each one of these phases. Okay, the first thing is we're going to identify is how are we feeling? Okay, what's, what emotions are coming up? Okay, the next one is identify how are we thinking? Okay, what thoughts are going through our head? What are we, we tend to visualize more in story form when we think, okay? So what stories are going through your head? Three, what are your actions? Okay, what are your behaviors? What are you doing or not doing? Okay, what, and getting super specific, what are the results? Okay, so phase one, okay, which is here on top, you're kicking ass, you're taking names, you're feeling excited, what else could I do? Okay, detailed all the action steps of the five phases of your business, getting amazing results. Okay, what's that, babe? He's starting to slip. Looks, like they're, looks like they're laying down. No, he's slipping. It's a backslide. <laughs> <laughs> they're slipping, okay. How are you feeling when you slip? What happens when you slip? How are you feeling? What are you thinking? What, what, what do you stop doing at this point or what are you negatively doing at this point? Okay, now you start to hang on. So after we slipped, now we're hanging on. So now what's different in how we're feeling here versus phase two? Okay, what's thinking different? What actions are different? What results are different? Okay, now we're falling. Okay, how do you feel? What thoughts are going through your head? What are your actions? Okay, what are your results? Phase five, okay, bottom of the bottom. Okay, how are you feeling? Okay, what's going through your head? Actions, results. What causes you to go here? Okay, six, identify each one, seven, each one of those, and eight. Okay, is this making sense? Okay, generally, okay, phases two, or excuse me, phases one to six are generally, you're going to notice a positive upward trend. Okay, with phases two to five, you're going to notice a general negative downturn. Okay, the goal is to get really, really specific in identifying these. Jesse just went through this the other day, didn't you? Yep. Okay. And when you can get really specific, guys, in each one of those, you can stop them. Okay. If we're not specific and we loop all this together where I'm feeling bad, I'm thinking shit, I stopped doing stuff that I've been doing and I have bad results. When, we, when we're super broad like that, you're never ever going to be able to catch yourself. So you could catch yourself here or here because you're just lumping it all together. Does that make sense? Okay. So we want to make sure we're super specific. So I'm going to go, I'm going to ask you guys specific questions. Why I'm asking one of you specific questions, you guys should be writing down. You guys should be writing the entire time. So we're going to go through each phase and identify these four things. So as we, someone is sharing, you need to be working on your phase. Does yep. that make sense? And let, let me... Um, let me set the stage right here. Put down your fucking ego, okay? Be a little vulnerable, be a little raw, okay? What you go through is probably what you go through. What you go through is probably what I've already been through, right? We're helping to identify each one of these. And the more specific we can be, okay, the more likely we can stop them. So phase one, how are you feeling at phase one? Feeling on top. How are you feeling? On top of the world. Okay, what's going through your mind? Um, that life's going good. Things are pretty balanced. Um, most everything's working out well. Relationships are good. So you're getting into results. I'm just talking okay. thinking-wise. Oh, thinking. Thinking. Um, I mean, generally thinking positive. Waking up feeling good. Thinking um, my day is going to go well. Um, Do you really think that? 
My day is going really well. My day is going to go well. My day is going to go well. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, so you are being positive about, you're setting positive intentions about the day. When you're on top of the world, where does your mind go to the most? We're on thinking. Okay. And pause just for a second. The problem with most people is they, they're skipping around and they're being super broad. We just want to isolate. Phase one, thoughts. That's all we're going to be talking about. Phase one, thoughts. What On phase one, what are we thinking? What stories are going through your head? So what stories are going through your head? So you need to go there for a moment. You're trying to, I feel like, force it. Like, think of a moment when you felt on top of the world. Like, I mean, just, I, feeling on top of the world when I felt like I had control of my emotions. Like, when I... Okay, so thinking, you're feeling like I have control over my emotions, and what are you thinking during those times? I'm thinking, like, I... So you're thinking, I'm in control. What are the action steps you're doing specifically when you're on top? Um, I'm making sure I'm taking care of myself. Okay, taking care of yourself. And what does that look like? That looks like a little bit of meditation, making sure I'm getting enough sleep, drinking enough water. Sleeping, meditation, water. What are the results? So, so hold on. Okay. okay. So let's. Th so we're talking about business-wise. What are you doing marketing-wise? Okay. What else? Um, talking to people everywhere I go. Talking to people everywhere you go. Okay. What are the results? Um, you know, consistent clients, making money. Um, yeah, it's good. Right. <laughs> okay. Phase two, you slip. How are you feeling? Um, nervous. Nervous. What are you thinking? Okay, so you're visualizing yourself slipping more. And so slipping for you in business looks like what? Um, losing consistency, like figure out what, what I'm trying to do every day. Okay, and what's the thing that you're not consistently doing at this point? So then, you know, there'll be days where I'm less motivated to talk to people, like not okay. posting or not... Um, Okay, so you're not posting as much, you're not talking to people as much. Okay, what are the results? Uh, well, then you don't really get as many results. Okay, and for you, okay, for you, what does that look like in your business? Um, <coughs> I don't know, I'm a little bit newer, so that's like harder to handle. Okay, Jesse, phase three, how are you feeling? So you're hanging on. Worried. What are you thinking? Why isn't this shit working? Okay. What are you um, worried about? No new clients. No calls. Okay. Okay. So we're worried about not getting any interest. What are some of the actions that are happening at this point in time? Creating new offers. Okay. So trying to create new offers. What are some of your other? What are some of the other actions that you stop doing? Um, probably like creating hype was something that I put in phase one. So I'm more creating hype, maybe not as excited, not higher energy. Because you're pretty consistent. Are you still consistent on social media at this point, and it's just your energy that's lacking, or have you lacked consistency as well? A little bit of consistency, but I do think it's an, an energy thing for me. Okay. Okay. What are the results at this phase? Um, just creating busy work for myself, like in the creating of new offers. So it's kind of taking away from like 
like I feel like in business you're either working, you know, I guess either in the business, but like working on the bit, or for me it was creating new offers to try and then then take it to the market, to my audience, and so it was more of internal business work than like external. So more warrior, share. less queen. Yes. And what are your results? Um, so it was like like busy work. Like so just busy work, work is a result. Yeah. And then no, no, for me, I had no other results of that in that phase. Okay, so when you're just doing busy work, you're not getting results, you're not making more money, you're not moving forward. Okay. Okay, phase four. Cameron, you're falling. What does this phase look like for you? Feeling? Uh, mm-hmm. So you're getting stuck over here. So you're feeling excited when you're falling in business. I love a challenge. So okay. So what, how are you feeling at phase three? Phase three when things are slipping. So do you prefer things so phase, to be slipping? So phase two, phase two is slipping. So how are you feeling at phase two? Super positive people really struggle with this. And this cycle can hold, be hold on, any duration of time. Second, hold on a second. Okay, what's phase one? Let's start there. What's your phase one? When, I'm, when things are going really well. Kicking ass, taking mm -hmm. names, you're on top. What is the feeling? Uh, my team's in a good place. They, we're, not, we're, we're talking about feeling. How are you feeling? Uh, my feeling? Yeah. Euphoric. Euphoric. Fulfilled. Fulfilled. Um, I'm excited, engaged. Uh, Okay, what are you thinking at this phase? I'm usually thinking two things. One of them is try to slow down for a second, take it in, because I'm always thinking of what's the next thing. Okay, so you're trying to take it in? Okay. Yeah. What are your actions at this point? Uh, finding out, researching what the next stage would be, uh, looking for new models, looking for new books, looking for new... Uh, perhaps podcasts, uh, talking to mentors. Okay, what are the results? I'll get to the next level. So, it's expansion of the, of the business, or it's bringing on uh, more trainers, implementing, sorry, more employees, <laughs> more team members, uh, and uh, seeing new, new, new heights, new whole members, new ability that we've been able to help more people is the results. So I see more smiling faces is honestly what it looks like. Okay. Worst of the worst, phase five, how are you feeling? Can't think of a time where I've been there. Okay. So, so how long have you been in business? Uh, 11 years. 11 years. And you're saying in 11 years, at never one month did you have a down month? I haven't had a down year. Say what? I haven't had a down year yet. Down month. I had a December one year. That was, I do remember that as my worst year ever. Okay. And so what was that feeling? That feeling was, well, I was going through. Because I, I promise you, I promise you this, uh -huh. my five is someone else's one. In terms of like results wise goes. Mm -hmm. So you can't get stuck on the results for any part of it. You're identifying for you specifically what is on top of my world look like. Mm -hmm. Filling, thinking, actions, results. Okay. You're, it, it's, you're having a hard time showing me a downward trend of what this looks like. So that either tells me you're not willing to be vulnerable or that tells me you're full of shit. <laughs> um, one, one of those. Or you're just, you're, you're delusional and you're not really looking at the business the way you should be looking at the business. I appreciate that. Um, 
Because 11 years, and I and and I, I could truly believe you've never had a down year. Because I've only had one year where I didn't make more money than the previous year. So I, I can believe that. But I can't believe that you didn't go through trends and cycles it. along the way. So you're in the ICU. Yeah. Let's go there. What are you feeling? Um, well, at the time I was getting blood transfusions, and I felt much better. You are so fucking positive. You are in the <laughs> ICU. You have dropped you the fucking. You disgust me. <laughs> you have dropped the fucking ball in your business out of force from motherfucking nature. How the fuck are you feeling in that bed? Just be real. I want to say I, I felt great. Like I was. <laughs> Okay, prior blood transfusion. Right before. You blood were great. Trans you were blood great. transfusion somewhere here in the positive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so are you happy about being in a hospital bed and being forced to be there instead of working on your business? Okay, so you're not happy. What else? It so, the yeah. so what has been one of your highest months income wise? Is that a number? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, we're focused straight on business. 105. 105? Okay. That's awesome. What's been one of your lowest months? That December that you're talking about. Okay, so we need to see the trend and what's the difference between that bottom tier and the higher tier. Because again, like I just said, my bottom tier could probably be a lot of people's upper tier. For example, your bottom tier of 53 could very well be people's upper so tier, So you're correct? understanding what does your cycle look like? Why are these months, why do you have some months that are higher versus some months that are lower? What's the trend line? That's the pattern. What's the pattern? Um, so the pattern in, in my business uh, is that there are times of the year that There's two times in the year that, that people historically sign up less to start an exercise program. What are those months? Uh, would be December and July. I could believe July. December historically for me has been one of my best months. Okay, so this is called strength in your world. And so when you start to get in trend lines outside of you, what are we doing? We're leaving our results out to the cycles of the world rather than trying to change our cycles. Does that make sense? Okay. Number six. Okay. My man, what's your name? John. Sorry, dude. I know. Six. our son's name, I yell it quite a lot. What does six look like for you? How are you feeling? Six is usually a... Turn a little bit. And we're gonna what? Everything's turning a little bit. Okay. So from a bit, I'm talking from straight from business here. Um, I can see the actual turn. So I can see that okay, so things are starting to pick up. We're selling a few more units or whatever you call it in your business. Um, we're talking about you. So is it units? We sell our produce. Perfect. So you're selling more units. We're talking about you guys. Not we're not. Yeah. So selling more units. So, so units, and it is seasonal. We do a seasonal month. Uh, so, uh, Record-wise, COVID hasn't been known. So, but COVID time was insane. Mm -hmm. I bet. 
I bet. But we're getting back to normal seasonal stuff. So we saw that this summer where it turns and everybody panics, right? So that's the positive moment, the more positive moment in my eyes, not even for myself or for my employees when they see that, okay, we're getting more traffic. Okay, so let's let's break this down on a much more micro scale perspective. And what is let's okay, talk about this. What on, is that point hold, though? Hold on for a second. Okay. What's what's the bottom of the bottom look like in your cycle in your business? <laughs> okay, what are you so we gotta go through the numbers. So how are you feeling? Oh, I hate it. You hate it. Discourage, y'all hate it. Discourage. What are you thinking? It'll get better next month. It'll get better next month. Need to do more advertising. Need to do more advertising. What are your actions? Spend more money. Yep. Okay. What are the results? Usually very good. Okay. Very good. This is we're still in the negative. So you're still at the bottom you, of the bottom. You almost identified I, I have a little bit of the same problem he does. I'm not quite as positive as he is. But <laughs> you're, I am very positive and I don't really get down. Guys, this isn't be this isn't about being positive or negative. This isn't what it's about. My little cycles are like this, like yours. Yep. There's still cycles though, okay? This could be a week, this could be a month, okay? That's a small cycle. There's still all these things that happened in between those. Okay, so, so bottom of the bottom, bottom of the bottom, would be bottom of the bottom, you're losing money or breaking even for a lot of companies. Okay. So what's your bottom of the bottom income look like? So bottom of the bottom would be not only do I see that we're okay, losing money, just to, for a better word, um, my employees see it too, and you see it in them. Okay. okay. So there, everyone's kind of down as so a business as a whole, and that turning point would be the meetings and getting more marketing and getting more. Let's call it, just do the callbacks, kind of like that. Trying to get everyone back on board, have a positive attitude to move forward. Okay. What is six? That would be important. Yeah. So how? So go through the numbers. Sorry, so would be, here, here comes the, No, no, no. So six, number one. How oh, are you I'm feeling sorry. at six? Feeling, You're good. I'm feeling better. I am starting to feel better. I feel like that uh, we're seeing a few more units, but we're also seeing more action from the employees at, at, at work. Okay. What are the actions you're seeing from the employees? They, they're trying harder, they're filling out all their CRM stuff to a T. I can see they're calling back old leads, all of us, that they're happy. Okay. What are the results? Getting more sales. Okay. What else? Happy employees. Happy employees. Their paychecks are bigger. So paychecks are bigger. Love it. Okay. Seven. Okay. Jesse, what does your seven look like? Hopeful. Hopeful? What are you thinking? Somewhere. Getting somewhere, what are your actions that you're doing more at this point in time compared to six? Um, networking, actually having conversations, more marketing, posting more, just trying to connect individually with people as well as um, personal development. So for me, that might look like audio books or um, just reading more, more books to raise my vibration. And what results does that get you? Um, more interest, scheduling more calls, more sign-ups. Cool. Okay, eight. Okay, right here. Mm, Melissa. Okay. Um, oh, eight. Um, on the way up, you're feeling um, excited because you know that you're going to get there and have a really great month. Okay. What do you do? I'm a realtor. Realtor. Okay. How long have you been doing that for? Four years. Four years. That's awesome. Okay. What are you thinking at this stage? Uh, the, all of the actions that I've taken previously are falling into place, and I'm going to have a really great month or a couple of months because I've planned ahead. What are the actions that are different from seven to eight? Um, there's more flow at eight. You're not like hustle and grinding. It's just coming and flowing easier. Okay, so how would we, so we need to be able to logically identify that. So what would be the specific actions that make it flow easier? 
because I've done the work previously. So whether it's networking or offering a workshop or a class or um, giving a free course through educating my client base, I do a lot of that. Um, and seeing the fruits of my labor, you know, knowing that it's coming into play. Okay, results. Okay. So trust is a really big result for me. Okay. So how do you know you're building trust? Because they want to work with you. They want they're to work with the you. They're getting the feedback. They're talking to you. They're coming to the courses. I love it. They're asking questions about what they need to do to take the next step to get to the next level. Okay. So through this process, you should be able to clearly identify each one from the other. So I'd be able to say, hey, what happens at phase one that's different than phase two? What happens at phase three that's different from phase four? Okay, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight. Okay, where do we want to stop it? Where do we want to stop it? Yeah, right there. That's where we want to stop it. How do you find that out? <laughs> I will show you. When we meet up again as a group, I will show you how you find that. Because if you can find this, we don't have to wait till here to start changing it around. Okay? Momentum is a big thing. If you can stop the momentum from going backwards right from the beginning, okay, you keep that momentum going. Momentum is a huge thing, especially in business. Change my answer? Yes, you can. <laughs> At any want, point in time. Do you want everyone to meet in the main hall? Yeah. Okay. Turn off your mic, please. If I see one of my members that posts. But I appreciate the call out. Kind of negative. Either being bullshit or delusional. And I'm just thinking. Because uh, I don't identify as a positive thinker. Like that bothers me. Like Tony Robbins' whole concept of that is that there's. I like to see things for what they are, but not worse than they are. Sure. But I don't linger there. I'm going to clarify what I want and then take action in that direction. So at each stage of that, it is exciting for me. It's exciting for me to grow. It's exciting for me when we get a down month because I'm going, what's great about this? What am I going to learn next? Mm -hmm. But the down, the slip is when my team members, when the revenue starts to go down from them, my reaction there rather than anticipating or having a better system in place to take for that, is I'll take on more clients. I'll, go, I'll, I'll pick up a slack. I'll go bring in that much more revenue, and that's that much less time that I'm putting into the business or putting into training them or putting into marketing. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll just work it out. Sure. I'll create the revenue myself, and then I end up, I see you, man. That's one dollar. I see you, man. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, and I, I appreciate too, because now, now you're getting into something, right? And essentially what you just said there was really powerful. You said, here I'm a king. Shit doesn't go my way. So when shit doesn't go the way for the king, the way that the king wants it to go, what, is, what do they do? They go and get into their warrior and they go do it their fucking selves, right? And the warrior can only fight the battle for so long until they start to get burned out. Right? So you see the natural evolution of your shadows and the archetypes come through here. And so we're going to be talking about those next. Okay. So I, I understand that this was an introduction for a lot of you. Okay. And it's a little bit harder when we're piecing it together in a group. Okay. But what I would say is if I was talking to you or you or whoever specifically, okay, and we'll have to go through this in our session, is the more you can show me the step-by-step -step in the actual cycle of what goes into the other, you'll be able to break the cycles easier and you'll be able to find new strengths through that process. And I'm, I'm very positive. If you talk to me at any point in time, I am always going to have in an incredibly positive outlook about what the future holds. Every single meeting, after every single event, I tell Mike, I tell, um, or every single month, yeah, every time we meet as a team, I always say the same thing. Guys, I'm super excited about what we're doing here. 
We're gaining momentum. We got good things going. But looking at the dark and looking at what's wrong doesn't make me negative. Looking at the dark doesn't mean I am the dark. I had a client one time say, Travis, I'm scared of being a narcissist. And I say, would a narcissist really say that? No, what would they say? You're a narcissist. <laughs> You're a narcissist. <laughs> right? And so, I, and, and so I said the same thing. Acknowledging the dark doesn't mean you are the dark. It's being conscious in what stops you. And if you could be conscious in what stops you, right, and be conscious in what inspires you, okay, we can more likely stay here so we don't have to go through the big long cycles. Okay, we can learn a lot through the process. And so now those bottoms, because again, the bottoms look differently than, than everybody. Okay, because you're right. Like we don't necessarily go into the negative, right? But our down is going to look different than in someone else's down. And your down now, your down that you have now is going to be different than your down in future. And five years from now, 10 years from now, your down... Okay, is going to be like your most upper up in terms of results, right? Okay, but you got to look at those other things like is your business just about the results? Is it just about the influence and the income? No, it's about your personal peace, your joy, your like, do, am I having fun doing this? Like there's so many other things. And this is what this is getting you to look at too during the process is looking at those other things. Make sense? Helpful? I've got a question for you. Yeah. Do you feel like you have to cover all the steps to get back or, or just the timing of like I, I go through two through five within a short amount of time just because I recognize it or can you just skip from one to six pretty pretty easily when you're recognizing it? Yeah, and that's, and that's a good question. Then that's why I say you want to break them down individually because if right. you lump it all to one, right. okay, do you say I feel bad uh, thinking what the hell actions are not as productive, results aren't as positive, and you're not conscious of that, now you're clear down here before you recognize it when we could have identified it up here. And so now, yeah, now we just go whoop, rather than yeah. So at any point in time, we can start to do it. But at, at the end of the day, like I was saying, momentum's a huge thing. Momentum's a huge thing. It just is. So... We'll talk about it more in here, so...